I got to think a lot of the veterans that come out or at, at least a portion of them maybe have had experiences or something that happened that were traumatizing, Real right? Traumatizing. Sure. And have yeah. left them, and, you know, obviously PTSD is a, a big thing, but just the experience that you have in combat and things like that. I mean, I know, I know you've been in combat is, did that, I don't know, how does that affect the transition? How did it affect it for you? Um, do you think that's something that, you know, I think that it's kind of a rhetorical question, right? Like I know the answer is that yes, it does affect people, but. Of course it is. And there's a lot of people that don't understand that PTSD is real. It is absolutely real. It's a, it is amazing what the human being can do to another human being. Uh, and it's just hard for your brain to see that. Um, so you come back different. You do. I mean, I don't sleep, you know, pretty much haven't since 2003. Um, they increase a lot of productive time for me. So I look at it from the positive <laughs> as much right. as I can. Um, but you go through your episodes. You go through the times where you just really struggle. Um, I had a, a gentleman that worked for me for a long time, and he's a Silver Star recipient. And his combat experience was a lot and very, very intense. And it really ate him up. It was, it was hard having him. Sometimes it was really hard having him in the office because I could see when he was starting to go over the edge, and it was really quick. I'd get him out of there as quickly as I could, and we'd go do something, and I'd just take his mind off of it. Um, but there are other times maybe I'm not in the office, and he just becomes incredibly anxious. Um, he'd turn ghostly white, and he'd start to sweat, and you could just and there's no reason he's sitting there working on an office desk, and he's just he's just cratering, and you can see what's happening. And it's all from his prolonged, you know, combat experience. So it is real. It does impact people tremendously. And um, yeah, I mean, it's it's a it's a challenge. You know, the I, I say this in our in our first time homebuyer seminars, our VA seminars all the time. The um, the Marine Corps was really good at teaching me how to get back home. They weren't very good at teaching me how to be back home. So that's that's, that's a challenge. You know, so it's a challenge. For me, uh, you know, mine wasn't that, that extensive. I, I deal with it for the most part and get through it. Haven't, I've had to seek help a few times for it because it just become a little too much. Um, and that happens. It's pretty normal, I think. Yeah. And, uh, but then there's some people that, you know, you couple that with, you know, having the, uh, I guess it's a gene, alcohol, alcoholism or something like that, or some sort of addictive thing like that. And you start coupling PSD, PTSD with something like that, now you start really seeing some issues. So the gentleman that worked for me, he had that. He had a highly addictive personality. He struggled with alcohol. He struggled with a lot of things. And so that when you start coupling the PTSD with that, any either one of those on their own probably would have been pretty manageable. When you started coupling the two of them together, that was very self-destructive very self-destructive and you know it gets to the point it's like I, I actually don't know how to help this guy right yeah well and that's you speaking as former military someone who's been in combat mm -hmm. who can empathize right yeah. so you you can only imagine if you're working somewhere else mm -hmm. with someone that has no idea they might look at that and say this guy you know he's got a screw loose. Right. And I, and I say that in all seriousness, I'm not trying to be a, you know, a smart ass about it. Mm -hmm. It's like really someone could look at that and say, man, this guy's combustible. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like th he, he can't be here. Whereas at least you had the empathy to say, Hey, let's get out of the office. Let's check it out. So like, even in that scenario, you, you were able to recognize, wow, this is going to be a real challenge. Mm -hmm. Um, and I think the part where you hit on substance abuse or those, you know, tendencies or the likelihood of someone having those issues I mean I, that I that's I could see that being a big issue which yeah. then then you just spiral right because how how important is yeah it's a pain masker a lot of guys use it right. you know, alcohol or drugs whatever they you know that they go to gambling I mean it could be it's all kinds of stuff that guys find and I think they use it as a way to distract you know, or at least tempor temporarily you know reduce the pain that they're feeling suppress the memories so to speak, yeah. and what you're saying, it, it, you're absolutely right. It does spiral, and it will eventually.